Hello! Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. Once a week, we upload beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces to this channel. This video is uncut. <clears throat> and in today's uncut video, we're gonna show you some of the eggs that are on the ground here, talk about the fact that our incubator is just barely running this season, which we've mentioned before. But also, uh, we'll go upstairs, give a little update on Little Man and what's going on with him up there and Mommy's, all the recovery, and yeah, I think that's about it, actually. Uh, please uh, take time to thank the sponsors for our videos, uh, Morph Market, always bringing new innovations and uh, probably, hopefully, having the new CEO, if you haven't heard that news, it's going to be coming on to Morph Market. Have him on a Triple B TV interview episode coming up soon so you guys can hear from the horse's mouth itself, what will be happening at Morph Market, what this means for Morph Market. And also, uh, of course, Redline, uh, newest channel sponsor. I will also be doing a video showing exactly going through their process this coming weekend because, uh, well, I'll be shipping out a snake and I'm also getting a snake in. And then, of course, Freedom Breeder. If you don't have a Freedom Breeder rack shelf, I, these are the OG sponsors I, of the channel. I mean, Freedom Breeder's been doing it since, it's been over 30 years now. Wow, that's incredible. Uh, so let's take a look at some snakes and then we'll go upstairs, check out Little Man, see how mommy's recovering. Thank all of you wonderful, beautiful people for your kind wishes, prayers, thoughts, and just overall um, excitement with us as we had a, a, brought that new life into our family. He's doing really well. We'll see how exactly he's doing in the moment when we go up there, you know, as babies. They do things that uh, they're not always necessarily content 24-7, but I'm trying to do my best. Uh, I'm, I'm a little under right now. Actually, I don't have my phone on me. I'll show you when we go upstairs what I'm talking about. Um, this girl is not laying yet, but this is our pied 100% head clown, and she'll have a clutch in her coils any day now and some of the other moms are doing well we've got clutch over here with violet and she's still just here's how you can kind of tell this is this is something i do when they start wrapping up real tight like this then to me that kind of that lets me know that they're doing a really intense job we're doing you know their very best to hold in humidity so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to i'm going to take out some of this Cocoa Blocks, thank you Freedom Breeder. And I will be replacing with very moist Cocoa Blocks so that we can get the humidity bumped up in there just a little bit. Just because the way she's wrapped on those eggs right now, again, just tells me she's doing her best to lock that humidity for the eggs inside of her coils. Let's take a look over here at this girl. So see, she's, you can see this Cocoa Blocks over here is a little bit more moist, or at least I can feel that it is a little more moist on this girl over here. And as you can see, I mean, she you can't maybe you can't see 100%, but her coils are not quite as tight. She's li she's got a little air hole that she's leaving at the top because the humidity's pretty good, and she doesn't want them to get too humid and mold. So she's leaving some space. This is something I've noticed the mothers doing on the clutches that they're sitting on top of. Some of these other ones are a little bit more high, and they're gonna be tough for me to get to. And do my little technique that I've been doing here of putting the camera on the opposite side of the tub. Let me see. Freedom Breeder racks are real tough, so you can kind of, you can climb them. <sighs> there you go. Same thing here. This mom um, has some pretty moist cocoa around her and she's got a nice big hole that she's leaving at the top so those eggs can come on out and, and breathe and not get too moist inside of her coils. Something, again, I've just been noticing since we started doing the maternal incubation. Also great thing is that, you know, we don't really have to be moving eggs around and, and this may be the way we do it for the foreseeable future. Assuming that it keeps going as well as it has been, which it has been, you know, if mom rolls out an egg or two, we do have to keep the incubator running. So, so there is that and the incubator is still running. But, you know, it's kind of nice to just have them all here and with mom and it's just a really cool experience. If, if you've never done it, I recommend making sure that your setup is 100% good and all your temperatures and humidity levels are well monitored and make sure you're not going to be causing yourself an issue. But as long as your temperatures are good and your humidity is good, mom knows what to do with those eggs. Um, even first time, at least this, this girl we're about to see right here is a first time mom. Let's try this. 
and she's <laughs> maybe not wrapping them as tight because she's somewhat inexperienced at it or because it's plenty humid in there. Either way, uh, we'll see how she does. Oh, got some real cool clown clutches coming this season. Not as many clutches this season as we would have done had it not been a bit of a slower year for snake sales. We kind of saw that coming, read the writing on the wall, and uh, we've, we're have we just focusing on some of the really important projects that we got going on, and then some other females that just like laid because they were retaining sperm, or oh, this girl is gonna be laying eggs any moment now. Maybe not any moment, but it's getting close. So that's what's happening down here in the snake room. I'm gonna go show you my phone and see what I was talking about, about how I'm like kind of barely hanging on today, as I guess could be expected as a new father with you know one week old baby hanging out upstairs. And the amount of sleep that you can imagine is be having, but I'm trying to stay pretty active regardless of that amount of sleep and keeping myself getting back into running. Still playing some pickleball, but I just want to show you what my phone told me this morning when I woke up. It, it probably still says it. Pull this sucker up. Phone, my little Fitbit that I use to keep track of my sleep and see how it's going and everything. This is what it said. They, they give you a readiness score every day on here. And today's readiness score is a one. <laughs> and that's a, that's a one out of a hundred. So basically it's telling me I need to just stop. Today is my day to just stop. Let's go see your brother. I mean, not that you're old news or anything, but don't worry about it. Trust me, when you get, you get to that point, like when I show up to grandma's house these days, that's like I don't even exist anymore. Hey, 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 hey. Hello. <laughs> How you doing, little Mac Mac? Mm. Macaroni. Mm. It's mm -hmm. macaroni. Little squinch face, am I making you squinch? <laughs> Oh, uh, finger. Mm. I call it a finger. <laughs> most epic yawn ever. The most epic yawn ever, huh? I call it the pinky finger. Mm. And how's mommy's doing? And the you pinky it? finger goes up doing your good. nose. Doing great. Look at this little guy. Hey, up mm. in the sky, do up in the sky. <gasps> up in the sky. I think he's going to work out a poop. Yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to work something? Like I'm getting all his like skin all over me. <laughs> I'm getting your peelies all over me. Yeah. Hey, Daddy, you need to get Doof Dog on the camera. Get Doof Dog on the camera. I'm trying to work Meow. out some bubbles. Meow. Meow. Doof Dog. Maybe. Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe. Mm. He has the magic wand. <laughs> Son, if they put you there, <gasps> oh, he's been doing spells. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, Thanks, God. Mommy. Yeah. Well, that's how that's going. It's about as well as we could have hoped for, really. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Look forward to the video coming this weekend when we'll be showing you the new snake that we're getting, and also how to ship. Or you know, yeah, you get it. <laughs> You know how to ship. If you don't, it'll be a good video. Bye, Noah Sage. Bye. You guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each. Oh my God. <laughs> I just fully went. You see that? I was like, Grr. take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We'll see you in the next video. Aloha.